All right, good morning guys. Saturday morning out here on beautiful Lake Vermilion, about ready to start official, well not official, but my official practice for the Bass Nation Northern Regional. Uh, it's about 6.30, I'm gonna try this little shallow spot for some top water, maybe some jerk bait. Um, but we'll check in from time to time and uh, show you a few fish from practice and uh, we're gonna try some deep, we're gonna try some shallow, we're gonna try the east end, we're gonna try the west end. We're gonna cover a lot of water, sample a lot, and put together hopefully a good game plan for this event this week. Stay tuned, I think you might learn something about Lake Vermillion. Not exactly what we're looking for. Keeper off a little old crib. Healthy, good looking fish. I just pulled on another one that felt a little heavier than this one. Alright, found ourselves a little rock point, a little flat rock on it. Caught a couple fish. I got a couple. Josh caught one. So, multiple fish on this spot, and I finally got one that probably be worth keeping. Probably right around three pounds. So we are gonna keep moving, but uh, this is a, a decent looking spot. All right, guys, day two, day one, wrapped up, caught like a ton of fish. I probably caught 30 keepers. Most of them shallow, nothing really much over two pounds. Kind of crossed that thick off lake. Today we got a little Mark in the back. What's up, Mark? Oh, hey. Want to shout out the hook set? Yeah, they're good. They're good? Yeah. Today is then literally a train wreck. Um, yeah. We have had an oil alarm going off, had to refill the oil alarm. My front depth finder doesn't want to work. I dropped my phone in the lake trying to fix something, the oil issue. Uh, I was able to swim and get my phone back, and uh, we've only caught like four fish. So uh, we've can, got a little more, but it, five inches don't. It count. can only go up from here. So hopefully, we check back in and show you some good fish later today. Stay tuned, we got a couple more days. We'll catch them, we'll find them. So this has been the tail of the tape. Most of yesterday and today outside of a few fish have looked a lot like this. It's two pounders, gotta find better. Mr. Green Jaws makes an appearance. Finally finding a few largemouth. They've been all about this size, a little smaller, decent fish. Kind of grass, rock transitions. So, still need to find some bigs. So, Mark, what do you got there? Something that should have been about three and a half pounds bigger. Are you proud of that fish? It's a fish. It's <laughs> a step in the right direction, but we've been doing decent. Just not at that three and a half pound mark we want to be at. Party rolling now. You got this boat up in the slop. Pull the shoulder away harder. Sure. Another two pounder. Ooh, that was a little better. Okay. That's getting there. If they're all like that, I wouldn't be so mad. It's an upper two, anyways. Yeah, I mean, I definitely take a bag of those. From what we were catching yesterday and today. Tubby. Boy, oh, yeah. nice fish. Fish is fat too. Thanks. <laughs> hmm? Dog that one. Yeah. That'll be good for your video. Richard. Or do I let you fucking smash him for your fucking 
YouTube channel. Oh, that's what it was. What? Oh, I'm not casting it. I got him now. That's still not casting That is an ugly looking northern right there. Skinny, big head. Oh, he stinks too. Ugh. <sighs> All right, day two practice, just about a wrap. It's almost, I don't know, six o'clock. Put a long day in, covered a lot of water. Found a decent amount of fish at the end, but just nothing quite the quality that I'm hoping for. We caught some two, two and a half, maybe two and three quarter pounders, but kind of a long run without finding some three plus pound fish. So a little bit of brown, a little bit of green. We mostly fish shallow. We found some on some grass rock transitions that are maybe a little promising, but uh, I don't know, got a lot more work to do in the next two days. All right, here we are, morning three. We got Sawyer, he's gonna help me find the big bag today. This is gonna be the day we're gonna find the juice. And uh, we're over on the west end by Cook, hunting for a little bit of largemouth and smallmouth. We fished this kind of whole bay right here. Haven't seen much, we're gonna flip a little grass and keep hunting, but uh, stay tuned and hopefully we got something to show you later today. Okay, here's one. Let's swing him in a tournament. <laughs> okay. It's a good practice, but they get out hooking them. <laughs> kind of an old, long, not fat one. I think he'd be a good measure one, but. Oh, he's like two pounds. Yeah. Not even. I mean, he could be a big one, but he's just skinny. So DT6 just cranking along on this kind of bluffy rock. First one, trying something new. There we go. Three pounder. That's what we've been looking for. Maybe we're finally finding we're on to something. Oh, so you're with the monster flipping. But you just said they weren't biting the flipping. No. <laughs> <laughs> They've been eating the frog in here a little bit. They've been hitting it. Caught a few, missed a few. I don't know. I don't know if they're big enough to come in here, but it's been fun. <laughs> All right, day three practice wrap. West end, I think I literally caught two three pound class fish today, which is just not enough to make the run over here. So tomorrow we are going to try to close the gap, find stuff closer to take off. Uh, and kind of put that with some other stuff I'm working on uh, to make myself a plan for this tournament. So, um, one more day of practice, a fairly full day. I fish till five. Um, see if we can find the magic. Otherwise, uh, I still think I got an opportunity. I, I know some stuff about this lake and I feel like I can catch a decent bag. So, we'll probably just wing it and then uh, fish the moment. And uh, stay tuned, we'll kind of wrap up practice officially tomorrow. And I'll give you all the details on what's working. All right, morning, last day official practice. Get a pretty full day, we can fish till five. I'm out solo today, just checking some new water, trying to round things out. Gonna fish a little bit shallow, a little bit offshore, look for some green, look for some brown. But uh, uh, this last day, we gotta lock things down, get in early and get all the gear ready. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll, we'll develop the final game plan today. something I can fish around between docks things like that and it's a good sign right there that's a healthy one I take one a couple of those in the tournament a little white and chartreuse three eighths a little arsenal minnow on the back getting a few bites today I've got a few largemouth a few smallies pulled out a few had one good bite that felt like could have been a, a good one a different snaker so just plugging away today about 
uh, quarter to ten, and I got till five to uh, practice yesterday. Yeah. See some smallmouths? Yeah, not too bad. Got some fans watching. Practice continue. Nice smolly on a frog. <laughs> a little deer tongue, smolly. Look what that looks like. That grass right there, that weed clumps right there. This smolly came out of there and ate my frog. Something new. I like it. We got a nice smolly here. Probably one of the biggest smallies I've caught all week. An old tube. Those are the kind you need. Look at that. the wacky rig rod for the tournament and uh, this green one bit so found a pretty good stretch here it's got green and brown and pretty good ones practice is almost over but feeling pretty good right now about the tournament all right practice is a wrap a full four days of practice up here which is a lot and I uh, first day found some stuff or refound some stuff uh, and found some new stuff that I really liked and I spent the rest of that day and the next two days really eliminating water that I'm not going to end up fish. And then today, eliminated a little more water, and then I found a stretch that I really liked uh, and I'm pretty excited about. So, um, feeling good about tomorrow. Look forward to finding out what my boat draws, who my partner is, and uh, looking forward to get after them. The main thing in practice, green pumpkin stupid tube. If you don't know how to rig a stupid tube, Check the link uh, up in the cards, and I'll put one down in the comments or description so you can see what a stupid tube is. But it is an amazing rig for smallmouth and largemouth anytime you are around snaggy rocks and cover. Um, the other main thing that I got quite a few bites on, or some, something I can do like cover water, and chatterbait, a few on different creatures and things like that. Topwater bite has not been going. Um, I did catch a nice smallie on a frog today, but uh, I don't know. I'm excited. So make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss the turning video that will be coming up after this. So hit that notification bell and you won't miss that. Uh, let me know what you thought of the practice videos. Let me know about tournaments and uh, love to hear from you in the comments. Until next time, uh, hello bass. Here to help you catch more bass. Suck less.